Second, Sabbath helps us find meaning in our work. You know, several years ago, many years ago now actually, um, people who are 95 years old were surveyed and asked the question, if you could do your life over again, what would you do differently? Even though it was an open question, three primary answers emerged. First, they said we would risk more. The older I get, the more I understand that. Second, they said we would do more that's meaningful, that would last, that will last beyond our lives. Third, they said we would reflect more. What a grace of God that he placed one day a week and he said, reflect, stop, and remember. Sabbath week, what do you remember when you worship? What do you remember? Since we spent so much time in this week working, one of the things we naturally gravitate toward is our work. And we think, okay, God, Did I do my best for you? Did I honor you? Did I miss opportunities? God, how are you wanting to form me? God, what are you wanting to do with me? God, what does it mean? How can you make my, how should my work be more meaningful for you? Gordon McDonald said, reflecting presses meaning into our work to make sure we know to whom it is properly dedicated. It is so easy to just go through life thoughtlessly. Week turns into week, month turns into month, and we never spend time pressing meaning into the work that we're doing. Many years ago, Brother Lawrence wrote the classic, Practicing the Presence of God. He was a cook in a monastery, and he learned how to press meaning into every, every activity, even the, what would seem like meaningless activities. He writes, I turn my little omelet in the pan for love of God. When it is finished, if I have nothing to do, I prostrate myself on the ground and worship my God who gave me this grace to make it, after which I arise happier than a king. When I can do nothing else, it is enough to pick up a straw for the love of God. God. 